Hey everybody, what's up? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I am so excited to be sharing with you guys the things that I do plan on buying or want to buy that are coming out in the beauty community. They're new releases. I usually do anti-hauls, but I did ask if people wanted to see kind of a video of what I do want to buy because we're always talking about like the things we're not going to buy, but never really make videos of the things we do want to buy. So this is like a wish list or I'm going to buy video. So if you're excited to see the new things in the beauty community, that I am going to be buying, then go ahead and keep watching. The first thing is this B, it's B Perfect Cosmetics. I've actually never heard of them until like right now. I know they're probably like a big brand that I don't know about, but this whole shabam, it's called the Shape Shifter Palette, maybe? Shape Shifter Set? I don't know, but it comes with like contour, like all kinds of face stuff, and then highlighters and blushes. You get two palettes and they magnetize together. And I just think that it's like absolutely stunning and I need it. I absolutely need it. I just think that when you get those things that are just like so all-in-one situation it's a hit or miss like you either really hate everything but one thing or you really love all of it and I think that this is going to be like a love all of it situation so getting it plan on it. I don't know where they sell it though. I'll have to find out if it's just a website or not. So the next thing is the new Ariana Grande perfume. It is God is a Woman perfume. I love most of her perfumes. I love the scents. I think they're nice. But I'm honestly getting this one because I like the bottle. That's, that is basically the reason I'm going to spend the money to buy this because the bottle's so unique. I don't have anything like it. So I want it. Hopefully it smells good too. I mean, that'll be a plus, but honestly, I'm just getting it because I like the way it looks. And the next one is actually a perfume too. It is the Fenty Beauty and this is the Bridgetown perfume. I think that's what it is. She said it's in, uh, Rihanna said it was inspired by Barbados and her travel to France, New York, and Los Angeles. Brown is Rihanna's favorite color. She wanted something brown, but transparent. So she created the amber bottle. It's an experience. It's a memory encapsulated into a fragrance. One smell you'll never forget. So I am here for it. The only thing is, if I'm being honest, it's $120 and I'm just like, Rihanna, I'm gonna buy it, but like, why did you have to make it $120? You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm gonna buy it, girl. I'm gonna buy it because I know it smells good. Looking at the bottle, like you guys think like, oh, well, it's kind of just plain. It's not. It's like so sleek. It's so, it's one of those bottles that you know, it's just gonna smell so fucking good. It's gonna smell so fucking good and I can't wait. I wanna get it so bad. So the next thing is the um, Life Liner by Huda Beauty. This is the Easy Precision Liquid Liner and it has a felt tip um, brush to it. It's easy to apply. I, honestly, I just want to get it because I do like her double-ended life liner, I think is what it's still called, with the pencil and the liquid brush. So I'm excited to try that just because I have not had any issues thus far with Huda Beauty's liners. I've honestly not had any issues with any of her makeup except for her old faux filter foundation because it smelled like I was putting daffodils on my face. So the next thing is actually from another company I don't know much about, which is Vanity Makeup Cosmetics. It's a 12 pan eyeshadow palette for $9. $95 by the way. So I'm kind of like, ooh, that might just have to stay on the wish list. Like instead of in the cart, it's just going to stay in the cart. Like it's not coming home because $95 for 12 shadows kind of a lot. But they're so, they're so beautiful. It reminds me, if I'm being honest, kind of like a smaller version of the Tati Texture Volume 1 palette. So I don't know that I'm going to get it 100%, but I definitely, I definitely keep looking at it like, ooh, I might, ooh, I'm, I might. I might. I might. Tell me not to. Tell me not to. It's $95. The next thing is the Bounce Liquid Whip Cream Blush by Beauty Blender. Why does it have to have that many words in it? That's fine. It's a hybrid apparently between cream to powder blush whipped into a creamy texture with staying power. Delivers a buildable wash of color for your cheeks and lips. Now I don't use that kind of stuff on my lip, but I have been obsessed with creamy blushes or creamy to powder blushes uh, just because because I can wear those or I do wear those when I'm wearing like no makeup at all. It's just my go-to makeup item, but I'd like to give it a try just to see kind of like maybe grab one of them. I just think they're so beautiful and I just love cream blushes. And so the next thing I'm really excited about and this one I probably will be getting. This is not just a wish list item. This is definitely like a probably gonna get maybe not right now, but definitely <laughs> but is the eye sculpt eye shade by Juvia's Place. So they have a pencil. They have what looks like 
like maybe a pen yep they have a brow gel and then they have a palette which is powder which is one of my favorite things currently to use over my natural froofy brow look instead of like that IG perfect brow that froofy kind of natural brow I love to use the powder and I know it's not gonna be that expensive the brow pencil is ten dollars the pen is 14 the gel is 12 and the palette is ten dollars ten dollars and you're getting four shades in the brow powder so you could put so much different dimension and come on like the just, it's stunning it's always her packaging is always stunning so the next thing is the ColourPop mystery box um it's actually not on my wish list it's actually not in my cart I actually bought it the day that it launched and I still haven't gotten um an email that it shipped so there's that but I did buy it and I was really excited until I decided to go on YouTube and I was like you know what let me see uh -huh, if they've done previous boxes and I couldn't find anything like previous however hmm they sent PR packages, PR mystery boxes to other YouTubers, content creators, whatever, to open them. And I guess they sponsored them. What I don't care about that. Like, good for, I'm glad. But the thing is, these boxes are no, no longer a mystery. I know, I don't know the exact content of my specific box, but I know that it is very basically a variation of the ones I've seen. And I'm just like, oh, I wish I didn't buy that. So I'm kind of like, I don't know. I'm kind of upset about that. The point of the mystery box is to be surprised when you get it. And I mean, yeah, someone else might get it before you, but the day that it launched i did not expect someone to already have it i expected like previous ones like oh last year color popped in a mystery box whatever so i already got it i'm gonna open it for you guys whenever i freaking get it so the next thing is actually the new concealer it's the magic touch concealer by anastasia beverly hills i'm a concealer um queen okay i love concealer i love concealer of all kinds and i love to try them all so i'm gonna get it so the next thing is actually a color pop quad they just came out with basically zodiac signs there's 12 palettes and i just really really like them and i want to give them a go so i'm a gemini um i don't know if there's a specific one for a gemini because one looks like it's one with gemini but then the other looks like it's a different one with gemini so i don't know but i do want to try them because i do really really enjoy their quads i think they're very easy to use i think that you can use them without a full face of makeup or with a full face of makeup you can really just kind of do whatever it makes it very simple very like fun quick out of here you can do it very bold you can kind of do it kind of tamed down and they're just so small so they're travel friendly as well so i do want to get some more of them just because i do like the formula of them so but it's nice that it has my zodiac sign. Last but not least, I have never used this brand. I don't know that I've ever heard of this brand either. Let me know down below if you have. It's called the Wilderness Palette. And I don't, not really certain who makes this. I know it's on Beauty Bay, but it just says Wilderness Palette. I don't, oh, maybe Beauty Bay makes it. I don't I'm not really certain so if you know who makes this palette or who sells it whatever I know it's being sold on Beauty Bay but I don't know who the creator is but it's called the Wilderness Palette and it reminds me of the Huda Beauty Wild palette the only two palettes of that collection I was interested in were the Python which was the green one and the Chameleon if you remember which was like the pinky purple one it kind of looks like they took colors from both of those palettes and put it in here so I think I'm gonna get this one because this is literally $15 and the other ones I think are like $29 for nine shades and this is like a 20 shade palette and it's $15 that was the last item on my current wants or wish list there's some things where i'm like they're probably gonna stay on my wish list and not actually buy them but then there's other things that i'm like yeah i'm buying that I'm definitely $15 for that. I'm buying that. So I hope you guys enjoyed this kind of video. I do want to kind of start doing these more. Maybe like I'll do an anti haul one week and then I'll do like a wish list the next week just to kind of level out, neutralize the negativity, if you will. But I hope you did like the video. I hope you had some fun watching it. If you did, you know what to do. We're going to give it a thumbs up. And as always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I love you and I will see you guys on the next one. Bye.